Hi guys, welcome to another news. The lead pastor of Commonwealth of Zion Assembly, Koza, Pastor Biodun Fatou Ibo, has said he was ill, but after the founder of Living Faith Church Worldwide, Bishop David Oyedepo, prayed for him, he became well against all medical sciences. The Koza lead cleric, who disclosed that it was a drama in the Living Faith Church, popularly known as Winner's Chapel, said this said this while giving testimony at a church program. Fato Ibu further revealed that in the last three years, where he, he and his church started following everything the Winner's Chapel was doing, he had established 11 branches. He added that his church had been buying properties, including 10 acres of land that three branches of his church bought at Mararaba, Lube, and Guaripa. The cleric said, We have been doing well before. We have been doing we have been following Papa Uidebo from afar. I was a drummer year before in the cha- cha- in the winner's chapel. The Lord called us and we are doing we were doing well. We had branches which we called campuses now. But the last three years when we met Papa and came here has been ph- phenomenal. We have had 11 branches in the last three years, not just any branch. Everywhere looks like the headquarters because we, op- we operate like a franchise. Everything is well done. God spoke to us that we should continue here and be a part of everything happening here. I met Papa and Papa spoke to me about something and life has not remained the same. The members have not remained the same. The church have not remained the same. We had three campuses at the time. The three of them bought 10 hectares of land in Mararaba, Lugbe, and Guarepa. They bought their properties and every single thing since we have begun to follow this church, we began to buy properties from all our branches. The thing about Papa is that when he speaks, it comes to pass instantly. Many times we have been in circumstances and it will say never again and instant, instantly we will see results. I want to thank God for everything that has happened. Last year I was a little bit ill and Papa spoke and against everything the medical sciences I am here today and I want to give all thanks to God. I want to give all glory to God. Busola, the wife of the Nigerian musician, Timinda Kolo has accused Mr. Fato Ibu of raping her around 1999 when she was about 16 years old. Musola also sued Fato Ibu for the alleged rape because the coastal pastor denied all allegations. In November 2019, Justice Otman Musa of the Federal Capital Territory High Court Bari Division dismissed the case filed by Bosola Dakolo, saying it was that too bad because it happened decades ago. Essie Water was the first woman to publicly accuse Pastor Fato Ibo of taking sexual advantages of her. Water, who is now married with kids, used to attend Fato Ibo's church. In 2013, she admitted that her sexual relationship with Fato Ibo was consensual but said she felt abused and manipulated by the pastor. Some days after Essie's allegation, another former female member of Koza Church who identified herself as, as Franca narrated how she was almost raped by the pastor in a hotel in Lagos. Biodun Fato Ibo is a Nigerian pastor and author he is the lead pastor of Commonwealth of Zion Assembly, Koza. He was born into a family of four and attended the University of Oiloni where he started the church in 1999. Fato Ibo is, a, is married to Modeli Fato Ibo. Fato Ibo has been accused by multiple women of sexual assault. First in August 2013, when S.A. Walter alleged that Fato Ibo had a sexual relationship with her, why she worked in the church. Sometimes in June 29, 2019, Busola 
Adakolo, a celebrity photography photographer and a woman to a gospel singer, Timmy Dakolo, also accused that Fato Ibo on two occasions raped her as a minor about 20 years ago previously. However, Fato Ibo denied the allegation. Musola Dakolo proceeded to, file, proceeded to file a rape complaint against Fato Ibo, which the court dismissed, ruling that the case was empty and purely, and purely sentimental. The court fined Busola of a sum of 1 million naira for wasting the court's time. In January 2022, a former member of the Koza known as Inena Kalude accused Biodun Fato Yibo com- complicity in the death of Tega Akokure, a member of the Koza music team. Akokure husband subsequently contradicted the allegation. Let's take Nigerian's opinion. Sir V. Edem said, The sickness must not be disclosed. It is a thing of scandal to disclose the nature of the sickness a pastor is healed of. Glory be to God, you are healed. Raphael Amos said, Story like this makes enemy bitter. Abolaji Abayomi said, Congress, sir, nothing compares to good health with a mercy, with a mercy he received. Simon Leonard said, "May your healing be permanent in Jesus' name." You can say you can you couldn't say exactly what he said. He was healed after the prayer. Jesus is Lord. Adetoro Olarinwadu said, "Without visiting the hospital." Sonny Alan Uzen said, "Good one. I was healed too once by setting my eyes on Bishop Oyedepo." Wizzy Smart said, Many more years in good health, sir. You were battling with the consequences of sin, my pastor. Oshibu Oneka said, Mr. Pastor, you were not sick. You are only trying to deceive the gullible ones. There are so many sick members of Redeemed Church and that, that have seen Oyedepo but still end up in the hospital. I welcome your bad words and insults. But pastors have no power to cure hepatitis, tumor, stroke without due process. You can prove me wrong by accepting the cha- challenge of Matthias Iziako. Engineer Mark Awa said, The righteous are a spring of water that never dries up. Njoku said, Leave the church alone and face your Nigeria. Glory be to God, you are doing great in Gwarepa. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and let us know your opinions and your thoughts via the comment section below. Bye for now.